Welcome to another George Mitchell Assembly. It's the last one of the year. It's been an extraordinary year. Amazing things have happened at school, amazing things have happened at home, and peculiar things have happened all over the place. Look at this room. Have a look around. I wonder if any of you can recognise what room this is. It was the studio. You can see it was in the middle of a process of renewal, and it will be the new George Mitchell Primary Library. How exciting. Yeah. exciting. Do you want to share who's doing all these wonderful artwork around our school it's, at the moment in the <laughs> studio? This studio is being painted by Miss Wilson and Mr Newlands. They're very talented. We've got a BFG, we've got the crayons that quit, an Iron Man is being formed over here. You'll see a Gruffalo, Skellig. We've got a Hungry Caterpillar and all kinds of other things will slowly develop it on these walls. Okay, on that note, Miss Hill, this is our last assembly for the year. And so it's a very, very special assembly. You've not been part of this special assembly before at George Mitchell School. Do you know what, what is, is it, so special about our assembly today? Is it a Star one? of the Week assembly, Miss Edge? No, it's a little bit more. We are celebrating You're gonna the children, have to tell me, I think. You're but a little bit more me. than the Stars of the Week. Our final assembly each year is our Outstanding Achievement Award Assembly. And this is where a teacher gets to nominate a student in their class that they feel has been outstanding throughout the year. So they might have already won a Star of the Week assembly, and that's okay. So this is our Outstanding Achievement Award where the children get a special certificate, and the certificate's absolutely beautiful. You'll see them in a minute. And this must be what these medals are for. They are. So these medals are for each of the children as well that they get with their certificate. And so don't worry, if you're not at school, your certificate and your medal will be posted to you. If you are at school, then we will give you your medal and certificate at school. So don't worry, you'll receive it in the mail if you're not in school. So let's get started. This is really exciting. Shall we find out who the Outstanding Achievement Award goes to in nursery? I cannot wait to hear. Okay, so the Outstanding Achievement Award in nursery goes to... Valentina. Valentina, you've worked so hard and you've shown a continued positive attitude towards all home learning tasks. Well done, Valentina. Okay. Right, let's move on to our reception classes. And the Outstanding Achievement Award in Cherry Class goes to... Sarah! Sarah, you've made exceptional progress throughout the year. You've always tried your best and you've shown a very positive attitude towards your learning. You have grown in your confidence and your ability. Sarah, you have been an amazing role model to the class. I love that. Beautiful. Sarah, Mrs. Saberi is extremely proud of your progress and achievement. Keep up that excellent work. Fabulous. And let's move on to Maple Class. And the Outstanding Achievement Award in Maple Class goes to... Mariam! Mariam, you have made consistent progress throughout the year and in everything that you do. You are a role model student. I do love that phrase. You display perseverance, respect, independence, diversity and excellence. You always have a positive attitude towards your learning. You're friendly, you're approachable and you're welcoming. Congratulations and well done. Right, let's find out who the Outstanding Achievement Awards are going to in Key Stage 1. And we're going to start with Year 1 Silver Birch. And it goes to... Ishak. Ishak, we're incredibly proud of your dedication to your learning, both online and in school. Um, Ishak is the true personification of our school values. He always strives for excellence in his learning through perseverance and shows a fantastic independent attitude. Well done, Ishak. You truly have been outstanding this year and you more than deserve this award. Fabulous. And in Copper Beach, it goes to... Sarah! Sarah, this is for outstanding academic achievement and for being an excellent role model for the class. Sarah has worked incredibly hard all year and has never failed to put all of her effort into her work. She is a particularly talented writer and has produced some beautiful pieces of creative writing this year. She is always the first to volunteer to help teachers and children and she demonstrates kindness to everybody around her. All year, Sarah has shown our school values of perseverance, respect, independence, diversity and excellence. I'm so proud of her progress this year and I'm sure she will continue to make George Mitchell proud in year two. Excellent. And moving on then to year two, shall we find out who they are in year two? Let's. In Ash class, the Outstanding Achievement Award goes to... 
David, David, you've gone above and beyond in all of your learning. Not only have you improved massively and acted on feedback in your academic subjects, you've also shown your creative side in art and DT. You are truly talented and kind, always taking the time to help those in need. Your conscientious and respectful attitude has made you a great role model for the class. Your manners and the kindness you show others has not gone unnoticed, and the children are lucky to have a friend like you. Wow. I am most proud of how confident you have become sharing ideas with the class and laughing and joking with us all. You are truly a special person. Thank you for being you. Oh, isn't that That's just lovely. lovely? Really lovely. And in our class, it goes to... Mohammed Amin. Mohammed is, is quietly confident in his own abilities. He perseveres with any challenges he faces and is extremely self-driven. He sees the best in others and creates a positive environment for everyone. He's wise, mischievous, and fun to be around. Well done. Lovely. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? It does bring us to the end of the awards for our Q Stage 1 children. Okay, so moving on to our lower Q Stage 2 classes and our Year 3 and 4 classes. So we will start with Year 3. And in Year 3 Hazel, the Outstanding Achievement Award goes to... Zane! Zane, you have an excellent attitude to all areas of your learning. Throughout the year, you've worked tirelessly to maximise your potential, always showing the true meaning of our school values. Keep up the hard work. And I think Mum's going to be really pleased with that award, Zane, as well. So well done. I think we're all very pleased. Yes, with this we year. are. <laughs> so in rowing class, the Outstanding Achievement Award goes to... Matadi! Matadi, you're an exceptional ambassador and a representative for rowing wow. class. You have gone above and beyond the call of duty to model and uphold the values of the school. This makes me want to cry, it's yeah. so lovely. Without any fuss and putting your own needs aside, you are more than willing to support others to make sensible decisions within the classroom and help some of your peers to make safe transitions around the school. The amount of effort that you put into being the best version of yourself and to be an example to your classmates is simply outstanding. What a lovely thing to say, isn't it? What a lovely way to behave around your peers. What a lovely thing. Wonderful. Right, in year four, and we're going to start with year four Redwood, the Outstanding Achievement Award goes to... Safia! Safia, you have made outstanding progress in all areas of the curriculum this year. You have excellent learning behaviour and you are a great role model for others. Well done, Safia, and keep up the hard work. We are all very proud of you. And in Sycamore... Risha. Risha, you are a self-motivated, confident and kind person all year. You strive to be the best you can be in all the aspects of your work and you love learning. You are a selfless person who is an outstanding role model to other students in your class and across the school. Well done, Risha. I'm definitely going to go home today feeling really proud of the students in our school, Miss Hill. I don't know about you. I'm like a bursting with pride. How lucky we are as a school to have such wonderful students. It is. It's lovely to hear. Okay, last but not least, we are going to finish off the Outstanding Achievement Award Assembly with Upper Key Stage 2, and we're going to start with Year 5 U Class. And the Outstanding Achievement Award in Year 5 U goes to... Osama! Osama, you have set an exceptional standard consistently this year. You take so much pride in your work and you give your best effort in everything that you do. You're a wonderful role model to others and you've really shown how you can balance hard work and play. You have been an absolute delight to teach this year, and I have been so proud of your achievements. Well done. And in year five, Cedar class. Cedar class, it's Omar. Omar, you are a model student. You set a brilliant example with your attitude to learning and your overall attitude to school life. Thank you for always being so respectful, kind and helpful towards your peers and to adults. You have shown great perseverance over the year and you've worked incredibly hard to challenge yourself even when you find something difficult. I am so proud of you, Omar. Well done. Lovely. And our Year 6 classes, who we've had to say goodbye to now, because they're either going on to our George Mitchell Secondary School or to another secondary school. So it's been quite sad this week to say goodbye to our Year 6 children. But these two children um, are the, have received the Outstanding Achievement Awards for Year 6. And in Year 6, Chestnut, it is... Alexandru! Alexandru! <laughs> oh. You've had an outstanding year. Yes. It is a privilege to be Alex's teacher as I've watched him metamorphose over the course of the year. 
His dedication, manner and attitude towards peers and adults in the school has been second to none. I strongly believe that greater things await him in the future. Never lose your inner happiness and smile, Alex. Good luck for the future. Wonderful. And in Willow class, I will say this does make me emotional because I've known this young man now for a good four years and I've watched him grow and develop and blossom and I am so, so proud that Mr Orr has chosen this young man as the as receiving the Outstanding Achievement Award. And very, very well deserved. What exactly. Outstanding year six, I know, it? I know. So, would, would you be? like to announce it? Or can I announce it? Because it's that age. special. Go on. Okay, the Outstanding Achievement Award in Year 6 Willow goes to Hassan. Now, Mr Orr has said, you are receiving this award for a sustained and unrelating effort to be the best that he can be. Throughout this year, Hassan has continually developed positive learning behaviours and this effort is obvious in all areas of his work. He has fostered a kind and caring nature and will go above and beyond to help others. I can always rely on him to brighten up a room with his kind and humorous nature. Well done, Hassan. So Leighton, I think he's going to Leighton School. I'm going to be so lucky to have you, Hassan. Keep up that attitude to learning and that positive behaviour that you've been displaying this year because you can see how far that can get you. So, well done. I'm exceptionally proud of you, Hassan. Exceptionally proud of every yeah. single one of you. Well done. Well, everyone, that brings us to the end of our last Assembly of the Year. It's been an extraordinary year. We've missed half of you, half of you still learning at home, some children in school. Um, and it's, it really has been quite an unusual few months. But we'll see you all back in September after a lovely summer. Don't forget to read. Don't forget to have lots of fun with your family and your friends. Um, we will see you back in September. Every single year group back at the yes, beginning. How of exciting. I cannot wait. The school just hasn't been the same, has it, Miss Hill, without all of the children here? I've been lonely. I know. I I've really been really have. lonely too. We've been just echoing off each other, haven't mm. we? I cannot wait. I'm really <laughs> excited. But they need to be safe and have a happy holiday. You do deserve it, especially the parents who have been working with you at home. I hope you enjoy your holidays <laughs> as much as um, you know the teachers and the children do, because you are deserving as well. But yeah, we'll, we'll take that from you in September, parents. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the end of the year. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you in September. And congratulations <laughs> again to our. Medal winners! Uh, oh, medal our outstanding achievements, so you'll be getting your medals. I want one. I know, but it's not enough <laughs> for you, Miss Hill. I'm not as, as highly achieving as these excellent role model students that we have. See you in September! Bye, Bye. everyone!